Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and this is part 9 of our automated build deploy test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium. So in this video we'll be talking about testing application and Selenium framework from Team Foundation Server 2015 in a remote machine. And this video is a continuation of part 8. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 since this part is going to be fully dependent on that part. So this video series is a part of ALM with Team Foundation Server's video series. All right, so let's flip to Team Foundation Server. So in the last video, we were discussing how to achieve the build steps like this. And we discussed what each and every build task is and how to associate the build task with the build definition steps like this, right? So we're gonna do that. But before jumping in there, we'll first talk about the machine groups. So the machine groups is something which group the machines based on a specific task. Let's say if you're going to run some kind of test, let's say cross browser testings for each and every browsers in a different environments, then you can group those machines as a cross browser machines. Let's say if you want to run some test for a specific configuration, then you can group those machine in those specific configurations. So for doing these kinds of group of machines, you can create a machine groups and these machine groups sits in the test tab. So just click this test and there you have a machines tab. Just click the machines tab and here you can see there is a all machine groups. So these are the different kinds of group which I have created already in my team foundation server. And you can see that this my machine group, if I just double click this, you can see that uh, it has a group name and the description and also the username and password and what is the fully qualified domain name for this machine or the IP address of this machine and which port you are allowing from the Windows Server 2012 R2 through the machine that you have specified in the IP address, right? So you can specify the uh, username and password for this machine so that you don't have to enter the credential while you talk with that machine. So you can add any number of machines here by just clicking this add machines and you can keep on adding number of machines in this group, right? But currently I'm just going to work with only one machine, which is uh, super enough for my uh, resource that I have in my laptop, because if I keep on adding more and more machines, surely my machine's RAM will run out and even my server cannot even run. That's why I have created only one machine, the Hyper-V machines that you saw in our previous video. This is the Hyper-V machine which runs Windows 8.1. So this is the only virtual machine I got and I'm running that right here, right? So I'm going to click this cancel. And let me go to the build. So this is the concept of the machine groups. You please keep in mind that a machine group is kind of important and we are going to use the machine groups while we work with different steps of the build definitions. So let me go to the uh, build deploy test uh, build definitions and click this edit. And as you know, in the step that we discussed right here, we have to add these kind of tasks for the build definition steps. And some of the steps are like build application and deploy application and remote machines. And this can be done using this Visual Studio build uh, task. And similarly, copying and pasting the test projects DLL that can be done using this window machine, Windows machine file copy Add this task as well. And similarly, we have to add the Visual Studio test agent deployment and Visual Studio test using test agent. So let's quickly add each of them one by one. Right. So for that, again, I'm going to flip to Team Foundation Server. All right. Just hit this add build step and this will bring you the add tasks option. And here you can search for the Windows machine file copy. And that is actually available under, I think it's there in the uh, deploy. Right. So in the deploy, you have this Windows machine file copy. So just add this task. And then we also have to add two more tasks. Uh, the one is uh, deploying the test agent and then running the test agent. So this is available under this test tab. So just click this test tab and there you can see the Visual Studio test agent deployment. Just add this task. And then we have Visual Studio test using test agent. So this task will run the test in the test agent. So I need to add this task as well. So I'm going to hit add and I'm going to click close. So these are the different kinds of tasks for our build definition, right? And you can see these are in red color bold. The reason is because some of the 
mandatory fields are not yet filled and that's why it is in a bold red color so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add the source for this particular uh, for this Windows machine file copy so that it can copy those file in my remote machine right so uh, what is the source for the test where I'm gonna run so that basically the test files source is going to be my DLL file which sits in the bin and the debug folder right so I'm gonna choose my project and if I click this and if I go to my EA employee test and here I have my test sitting in so I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna hit OK and I know within this project I'm basically interested in the bin and the debug folders files right so I'm gonna copy all the files within this debug folder and then we need to choose the machine groups so the machine group is something which we already created in our the in the test tab of the machines so I'm gonna select the machine group and I'm gonna work with my machines so I'm gonna select the my machines this is the group which I'm interested in and then you can also select the machines by the tag name if you have specified which I don't have yet so I'm gonna leave it as it is and then the destination folder all right so the destination folders is the place where you have to drop all your files that you have in the source so I'm gonna drop all the files in my virtual machines let's say I think I have already created a folder called autotest mm, yeah this one autotest so this is this is empty right now and this is C colon autotest so this is the place of my remote machine where I need to copy all the files so I'm gonna just give C colon autotest great so this is going to be uh, the folder where I'm gonna actually copy the files and you can also specify clean target so every time before you uh, copy the files you can uh, clean the remote machines uh, target location and then you can perform the operation so you can also check this if you want to so let it be and then within this advanced you can also say copy files in parallel which is like parallel execution this is also possible so I'm gonna just leave this as it is for now so this particular task step is completely done so this is the different configurations that you need to make for your Windows machine file copy and next is the Visual Studio test agent deployment so you need to deploy your test agent into your remote machine that you need to do again so this test agent if you ask me do you need to install this manually or do you have to have a internet connectivity for that of course yes you need to have uh, the uh, internet connectivity because if you don't have the test agent locally in your remote machine uh, then you need to have internet connectivity in both local machine as well as in the uh, remote machine so I can also show a trick where you can specify the uh, test agent in a shared folder so that you can install from there but again you need to download that first of all and then you can specify that right so I'm gonna choose the test machine group and the machine group is again my machines so I'm gonna select that and you can specify the filter criteria if you want to but I don't have to and then the agent configuration so the agent has to be installed in that machine with some credentials right again it's going to be my administrator credentials so I'm gonna specify EA slash which is nothing but my domain and I'm gonna install with the administrator uh, credential so administrator and then I need to specify the password right so I have specified the password if you don't want to show your password you can also specify that in a variables and then you can perform the operation you can just specify the the argument which can bring you the uh, the password there right and then the interactive process this checkbox is pretty important so let's say if you're going to run the UI testings like selenium that what we're going to do right now you need to make this as interactive process so if you enable this only then your browser window will be displayed else it will be running behind the scene so you need to check this box else it won't run the browser UI kind of testing and your test will fail so make sure that you check this checkbox and the last option is the advanced option where you can specify the test agent location so if you know where your test agent is already downloaded and available in your machine then specify the path of the particular machine actually I have that file in my server which is nothing but my machine so I can specify the shared folder location 
it's vstf test.exe test agent.exe right so i have specified that and here there's a checkbox like update test agent so if you think that you need to update the test agent before uh, before starting to deploy or if it is there already and still you want to update the test agent then you can check this box so i'm going to uncheck this box for now because i don't want to update this every time because it's going to slow down my build execution so i'm going to uncheck this and then i'm going to save this particular uh, build definition but currently i cannot save it because one more uh, step has to be completed so i'm going to go there this is nothing but the visual studio test using test agent so i will head out there and then i will just select the machine group for now so that mandatory fields will be done and the test drop location so the test drop location is once again going to be this c colon auto test slash ea test ea employee test slash bin slash debug so remember in the windows machine file copy we specified the ea test slash bin slash debug and exactly the same thing it is so i have specified that here because in that machine this is the location where my test is going to sit so i'm going to save this for now and i'm going to give a comment here saying remote test deployment and i'm going to hit ok so we'll talk more about running this test in the next video of this video series so stay tuned and thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.